no, 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 you're misunderstanding. This book testifies of an entire nation seeing him. The entire nation of Israel saw Moses speaking to God. Did anyone see Muhammad speaking to Jibril? Did anyone see Muhammad speaking to Jibril? So, so, so obviously, Allah didn't show up to Muhammad. Jibril showing up to Muhammad is only Jibril if Muhammad is telling the truth and he knows what he's talking about. Only when both are true, we know he was speaking to Jibril. Both of them are in serious doubt. How do we know he was telling the truth? How do we know? I'm asking you. There's no way to verify. Do you believe Jesus is God? Now, let's not jump from one question to another, sir. So the point to you, the, the point I'd like to really comment to you, my dear friend, is simple. God of the Bible showed up time and time again in a manner which is verifiable by prophets and verified by further witnesses. Time and time again. Muhammad, Muhammad, fantasy ideas have no place in discussion of historical details, my dear friend. Muhammad, Muhammad never ever had any supernatural revelation in the eyesight of any credible witness. Never. And therefore, whatever he claims could be a box of lies, pack of lies. No one can verify. No one can. you find there was lies in the world? What's that? What, what did you find? A historical lies in the ground. Okay, let me let me let me let me show you a historical lie. Jesus never died. Jesus never died is a prime example of a historical so, lie. Yeah, Ray, did you want to say that? Yes, I saw uh, four verses one five seven. Let me tell you. So there we go. The prime example of a very, very important lie here. Yeah, it says here, uh, because of what he was saying, he slew the Messiah, Jesus, the son of Mary, Allah's messenger. They slew him not, nor did they crucify him, but it appeared so to them. So it clearly says that he was not was crucified. Solution, yeah. While... Okay. No, no he, never, he never crucified himself. Contrast, he? contrast, yeah. contrast. In the Bible, he says he's been crucified, hasn't he? Yes, the yeah. Bible says that, and every other credible source of history from the first century says that Jesus was crucified. Does Jesus know when he's like, when he's part of God that he will soon be uh, crucified? Yes, of course. He, he, does, he prophesied. Uh, when he's in the temple he's praying to God, and he prays, do I, do, I don't know, when he's uh, when. Hello, hello, Ilama yeah. Sabakhtani. Why, why did he do this to me? Yeah. Why did you... Uh, why, why why did he did he doesn't that yeah. last so about rejecting stuff? You know what I mean? No, no, no. Why so doesn't he know? I, I see what you're saying. So the point is this. Jesus, while on the cross, cried out saying, Hello, hello, Ilama Sabakhtani. My God, my God, why have you forsaken me? Yeah. Now, if you knew anything about prophecies concerning the Messiah, this is one important thing you need to know, which is in the Old Testament, we have prophecies of who the Messiah is and what he would do and all those things. Yeah? yeah. And the reason the prophecies were given was because in the New Testament, when the Messiah shows up, that the nation would identify him through the prophecies. They'll say, oh yeah, he fulfills this, fulfills it. Now let me finish. Because he fulfills this, that and everything, they would then, they would then identify my friend. They would then identify him as the Messiah. That's the purpose of a prophecy. One of those prophecies is that the Messiah would cry out, Eloi, Eloi, Lama, Sabakhtani. That's a prophecy which is in Zabur, in the book of Psalms, written by King David. So, prophecy given that Jesus would cry out and, uh, and the Messiah would cry out, Jesus did that just so people would know that he is that Messiah. Perfect. In a row. Yes. He was indicating. But he already knew that was going to happen to him. What's that? He, he's saying basically he knew that was going to happen to him. He, yes. It's really confusing. So, so yeah, and he played the role just, in, uh, just so people can be this aware of that. This particular statement was, was made for him to fulfill prophecies, so people would identify. Yes, this is him. Oh. We led him to be crucified. We accused him. But this is the one. This is the one our prophets prophesied about. 
just so they identify that it was him he cried that out well could have believed that. excuse me sir well could have all those fantasy ideas yeah, irrelevant actually, you're you're just just you're fantasy. Yeah, like, he could, he could <laughs> believe he could <laughs> believe that and say those words in order to fulfill even to present himself in a certain way right yeah. so yeah. you know it doesn't actually make the the same uh, because people you're talking about history people at the time the majority of the jewish people didn't believe what you're saying majority yeah. what majority are you talking majority about majority of the jewish people what majority are you talking about? A few well, millions? Hundreds? I don't thousands. know what the... Uh, if you don't know, you don't use the term majority. Well, don't you know, say the, that. The, the Jewish religion carried on <laughs> in strength. I afterwards. appreciate that, but Thank there you. were Thank plenty of significant events that happened between then and now. And so, unless you know those details, don't use the term majority. As majority means majority. Yeah. You know, Unless you know statistics, you, you can't use that. Is it less than majority? King, the I, I just don't King know. Samuel. I just don't know enough details. What I do Samuel know, Britain. what I do know, is that belief in the Messiah, belief in Jesus being a Messiah, was right in the middle of their lifestyle in Jerusalem, in the temple in Jerusalem. Uh, the Book of Acts testifies that the uh, that the inhabitants of uh, Jerusalem and um, nearby areas were afraid of the things that the disciples of Jesus did in terms of signs and wonders in the temple in Jerusalem. In other words, it was, it was a very, very uh, main aspect of Jewish life of that time. And so I wouldn't use the term majority, minority. I would just say it was bang in the middle. Let's not use the term majority, minority so the there. the Jewish religion carried on in strength. When? Uh, it, after, post, uh, when? post Jesus. When? What do you mean? When? There were plenty of events that happened. There's continuity. When? There, there is, in a continuity, there isn't a when. No, my dear continues. friend, do you know? Let me ask you a simple Why not question. Just give me the information. Do you, you know? Information. Do you know of the details of Jewish history after Jesus' ascension at all? No. Because you. Yeah, okay. So that's why you're making such statements. Then tell here. me if you know it. Then tell so, me. Judaism that you see today. So Judaism you see today has been sort of put together not in the first century, not in Jerusalem, not in Israel, no. The Talmuds that we have were written later. The Judaism that we have mainly today is, uh, follows what is called rabbinical teaching, which are the Talmud based. The, uh, the Bible. What's that? Isn't that the same situation with the Bible? That's not what? The same situation with the Bible. Yeah. Yeah. Same, same situation. No, no, I'm, I'm just telling him. The Judaism that is today is not from the first century, is yeah, all that I'm saying. That, that that but the know. church of today is from the first century. I don't know if I... Did I read to you from uh, Josephus? He was reading to the guy before that he was arguing with. Yeah, yeah. Tacitus testifies yeah. that the church existed right in the first century. Right in the first century. Do you Tacitus. Have a proof of yeah, Tacitus' work, Annals, is a work of history. So if you study, you know, in school you study history, yeah? yeah. But these days you have history books which are written spe specially for students. But historical works of the past were written for uh, a general public to peruse. One of those historical works is Tacitus, his work called Annals, yeah, which uh, describes events in the Roman history. And he, no, no, yeah, yeah, and he he mentions he mentions about the existence of Christians. A class of men loath for their vices whom the crowd styled Christians. He, re he re records them in the first century. Are you talking about the people or the book? The actual book? The people who believed in Jesus, yeah, who have died and came yeah. back alive. Yeah, we're talking about the book. He's saying basically the Jewish, uh, the Jewish religion continued after Jesus was crucified and all of that. Whatever, hap whatever happened. Well, you said... So, so I'm, I'm, all that I'm saying is simply... Yeah, yeah. Yeah. All that I am saying is the church that we have today began in the first century in Judea, in Jerusalem. There is continuity in regards to the church. But in regards to rabbinic Judaism, there isn't continuity is all that I am saying. Why not? Because of the details I gave you earlier. Because of the details I gave you earlier. Rabbinic Judaism, which is today in existence, began with the Talmuds, began with the Mishnah, the Gemara and so on which were writings not from the first century, but earliest of which were from the second century, not from Jerusalem of the first century. This is a historical fact. It, uh, in, the, in, in 70 AD... That's what I was saying to you. If that's a historical fact, do we have the first Bible from the first century? No. We don't have it, do we? We have Christians... 
It's pretty much the same situation. Within 50 years, 60 years after Jesus was crucified. Rabbinic Judaism began with the rabbinic works. Christian scriptures began with Christians. Christians were in existence in the first century. We're not arguing with that. So, okay, let's put it this way. Yeah, okay. I, th I think we're getting into a bit of a nitty gritty there, which I think we need a bit more sophisticated understanding for us to debate. So, the point is simple Jesus, prophets of the Bible, credible sources of information about Yahweh God. Credible. Demonstration of the supernatural acts in a credible way in human history. In Muhammad, we don't have it. Did Muhammad do any sign and wonder which is verifiable, useful by people? None at all. None at all. Whatsoever. He went to heaven by his house. Well, <laughs> very conveniently with no one knowing about this. And very conveniently when he was sleeping, when no one knew where he was. Very conveniently everything seems to have been made up that no one could verify that he was lying. It's an un unfalsifiable claim. And so that is not the claim I'm talking about. I'm talking about I am talking about verifiable demonstration of supernatural act. Jesus, in public view, brought back dead people back How to life. How many prophets do you believe in? I believe in all the prophets of Yahweh. How many prophets are there? Well, there are about 50. Okay, those oh. 50, yeah. does every prophet, like, they have miracles? Not everyone has, no. But well, why does Muhammad have to have miracles in order for you Because to Muhammad in? even doesn't know the name. Let's put it this way. For, for example, if you, take, if you take one of the prophets who doesn't have a miracle in the Old Testament, he doesn't suddenly introduce a new God. No. He doesn't say, I've got a new God called Allah. No. The ones who, whose miracles are not recorded in the Bible would have had a miracle, by the way. Would have had because Israel was required to look for signs for them to verify that someone is truly from God. A true prophet. They, they were required to. And therefore, they would have had miracles, some sort of verification for them. I know. But not to say all of them were recorded in the Bible. I've the ones who were recorded in the Bible, the ones who were recorded in the Bible without a miracle, my point to you is, they did not introduce a new God. It's pretty much like this. If I told you, uh, if I gave you precise information about the Queen, you wouldn't question him on the on the detail of whether that queen exists or not of course he's just giving more details yeah similarly for yahweh for muhammad, did. muhammad did nothing he introduced a new god gave no evidence whatsoever this is why let me go back let me go back my dear friend let me go back to this my dear friend muhammad my dear friend muhammad introduced a new god completely contradictory to the bible god of the bible he didn't say that. Obviously, he wouldn't say that. But the thing is, the details revealed uh, are enough for us to say, well, this is not the same God as the God of the Bible. Obviously. And so he gave this. He revealed a new God, uh, contradictory to the Bible. He was a false prophet with no credible revelation. New name, new teaching. New name, new teaching. Clearly self-serving. I was about to go there. Yeah, go on. Clearly self-serving. He obviously had everything to gain for by making the claims that he was making because by continuing to claim what he was claiming, people were serving him. People took him as the leader. People took him as the leader of the country. They fought for him. They, they, they gave him everything when everyone else could have only four wives at a time. He could have more. He had all sorts of special privileges and therefore he had every reason to lie. Every reason to lie. Self-serving clearly. What and that is what he did. Can uh, I come ask you a question? Go on. But you said uh, that Muhammad invented a new God. Yes. Did, how do you know Jesus is God? He died and came back alive and therefore he That's knows what he's... Sorry for yeah. God's sake. Okay, no, no, but did I finish a statement? No, no, no. What, what did I finish a statement? No, you did not. Why are you desperate? He died and came back alive and therefore he knows what he is talking about. And then he claimed that he was God. Did, uh, he never claimed did Moses he was believe God. in the, 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 there, was only, the, there was only one God, right? Moses we went one through God. this already. No, because you, that's what you did the same thing. We went Yahweh. through this already. What did, we, what did I say? If you think the Old Testament the God... I disagreed with you. The who Jewish with you? The Jewish guy. Because you don't know Jewish scriptures. What, he disagreed what is, with you. I don't have to know that. No, he, he, I don't know no, what, he, what basis he disagreed. Ruach HaKodesh. Okay. What is this agreement with you? He's saying that that was, the, that was the spirit you're saying, but later on he came on the Holy Spirit. That's what no, you're no, saying. no, Ruach or Kadesh is the Holy Spirit. Kadesh is holy, Ruach is spirit, 
That's the Holy Spirit. Right Arabic, there. It's, it's right Arabic there. Word of I don't care if it's an Arabic it's word, sir. I'm talking Arabic about the revelation word, of the Bible, sir. You're talking about your language, sir. We're not talking about your, the, the, how great because your language you is, sir. Arabic word, you don't know what's the meaning Excuse of me, sir. It's a Hebrew word that I use. I really don't right. care about Arabic calm down, calm down. here. Please, <laughs> come back to you. <laughs> Why do you bring in your greatness of Arabic? Who cares? Do I care about the greatness no, of Arabic? Care because you know, you just I really the don't care don't because I'm talking about Hebrew. Don't you don't know the meaning. No, okay, we'll I'm talking about Hebrew. Why are you so desperate to bring in Arabic there? Why do you want to talk about Arabic? Why? It's a Hebrew the, word. Do you understand that? Can I speak about checking. Hebrew? Can we speak about Hebrew? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shalom oh. alaikum. Uh, alaikum shalom. Good. Now, Can come back. <laughs> a, quick, a quick fact <laughs> check. A quick fact <laughs> check from before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, written by a Catholic um, uh, oh, scholar. Um, who estimated the number of uh, Jews who converted to Christianity in the whole first century was between 400 and 1,000. 0.0.0.0.1 out of... 400,000. 401,000 Jews. This is absolute nonsense. No, no, wait, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why, why, why don't you read the, you know, Mark chapter 10? I've got, I've, in my Mark back chapter pocket. 10, when, when Jesus himself, in my, when a rich man, he approached him and asked him a question, he said, good teacher, and Jesus told him, don't, you know, address me Excuse as me, good. sir, let's it's read this article God from Peter, sir. Only God is good. Sorry, Luke, sir. Don't call me I've good. I've got an article that written Jesus, by you. That's from the Bible. Good. You, you never say don't call me good. Excuse me, sir. You never say don't call me good. I'm gone. I don't know what he said. You never say don't call me good. I'm gone. Why do you call me good? Excuse me, sir. We we are in 2019. Excuse me. I don't understand Arabic. I don't understand Hebrew. We are in 2019. You need to fast forward. We are not in 1984. No. Fast forward. Things have moved on. We have answered many of your questions already. Let me read to you the article of Brother Luke, sir. Yes. So, you, excuse me, sir. You, 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 you said, you said an estimate. You said an estimate of the number of Jews who became Christians was between 500 and a thousand. 400 and a thousand. Let me read to you an article by. Let me read to you an article by Brother Luke. This is what he said. Then Peter said to them, "Repent, and let every one of you be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins." And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is to you and to your children, to all who are far, are far off, as many as the Lord our God will call. And with many other words he testified and exhorted them, saying, Be saved from this perverse generation. Then those who gladly received his word were baptized. To you, sir. And that day, about 3,000 souls were added to them, just in one evening, just with one preaching. 3,000 were added. Now, I really don't I'll respond, know. Excuse me. I'll respond. You've said your bit. What's that? Yeah. You've said your bit. I can respond. No, no. I, I, I hear. There's nothing to respond here, sir. Your oh, idea is about 400 to 1,000 is just... 400 to 1,000 is just... Uh, yeah, mythical, sir, sir, sir. Mythical. I'm not here. To, you, I'm not here to negotiate. Have about you ever exaggerated, sir? What? Have you ever exaggerated? Yeah, exactly in the way you read, sir. No, no, That's the exaggeration. Under exaggeration. This is under exaggeration. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Underestimate. <laughs> well, okay. But I am reading to you witness accounts. What are you reading, sir? I'm reading uh, an article. You don't even know what you're reading, scholar. sir. Like, what's his name, sir? Yeah, yeah, please find out quick. Yeah, yeah. Find yeah. quick, quick, quick. If quick, you don't quick, remember, quick. if you don't forget your password, please find out. <laughs> now, on, now let's put it. Sir, you really need to become a Christian. Islam doesn't help anyone. Islam doesn't even help Muhammad. Doesn't even help him. Neither would it help you and you, sir. All of us need to become Christians. The Messiah, Jesus Christ, was the one who was prophesied for the redemption of the world. Do you know that I follow Jesus more than you? Well, I obviously oh, know that you don't know what you're talking about no, when you can compare well, you and me already. I Jesus more than you. Because Jesus he never Tell me, said that how I'm God more? and you believe in me God. How, how more? The of Jesus. Please, you use the term more. You follow Jesus more. Can you please explain how you use the term more? Yeah, I believe his word. More. Can you explain the term, usage of the term more? Yeah, yeah, what, more. Uh, what did, what did you okay. mean when you said more? Because you're claiming that Jesus, yeah, you're claiming, God, uh, you know, Jesus is God. 
and he never said I'm gay. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the usage of the term more. What does that more mean? Do you follow Jesus 500 kilograms? Do you follow Jesus 5 kilometers where I follow Jesus 2 kilometers? Is that what you mean when you said more? What did you mean when you said more? Jesus gives a direction and you go a different His words. So 500 words, you follow Jesus Well, I never count them. When I go back You use the term more. What did you mean? What did you mean? You know what the term more means. What did you mean? They believe Jesus is God. You know, yeah. so I'm believing more in his words because I never saw anything that he said that I am God. On the contrary, I'm seeing, you know, all What are you said. talking about? Well, I'm talking what about are you your talking Bible. About? Yeah, yeah. Do you know about the temple in Jerusalem? Do you know about the temple in Jerusalem? What do you want me to know? Do you know, do you know anything about the temple in Jerusalem? Temple in Jerusalem. There are lots of temples in Jerusalem. Oh, really? which one that's how much you know about the temple yeah, in Jerusalem. And so clearly. So clearly, clearly you don't know what you're talking about, sir. Excuse me, sir. I'll give you a good idea, sir. When you don't know what you're talking about, please don't talk no, about you that. Know what it's a simple thing. No, I know. I know. I know. I know. What, what, so, what, 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 which temple are you talking about? Because there are lots of temples. There's only one temple in Jerusalem, sir. Really? Oh, really? How many what others time? are you planning to build, sir? What time? How many others are you planning to build, sir? Planning to build. What I don't have that money. Sir, tell, 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 so there are okay. So in your knowledge, there are many temples. Give me names of few of them, sir. I don't know. No, let's be real. No, 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 no. You know one so, name. Okay. Jesus. You claim Jesus never said he was God, yes, yes, but Jesus said there is only one temple. By the way, for your knowledge, only one temple of Yahweh God, and there is none in that temple. In any time, sir. If you are planning to build any, please let me know. Yeah. Okay, when I have the money, I will let you know. Just oh, yes, good. <laughs> money it alone won't, won't you help you. It's in the middle. Can you pay for salvation? No, you can't. How can you pay for salvation? Yeah, because when you go ahead, huh? what would you do? No, that's just showing that, you know, just to God. There's not another commandment. But you pay. But you have to, how are you going to travel? Exactly, you pay to travel. But you're not giving the Pope money, are you? No. Question on, to you. Why do you do Hajj? Why? Why do you do Hajj? You, you, you have to pay for salvation. <laughs> if I live in Russia, listen, I can question. walk to... Question. I don't believe anyone that has to pay for salvation. Question, question to you, sir. Why do you... Why, why do you make Hajj? 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 Have you been on Hajj already? Are you planning to be? Don't. Do not go. Don't go. It's a waste of money. Why would anyone want to go? Why? What's the benefit? Why would anyone go on Hajj? Why? Why to Mecca? Why? Of course, the uh, Saudi Arabians would want you to come there because it's more money for them. But why would you? It's, it's more money for them. But why would you want to go? What's the benefit for you? Does God live there? So why would you want to go there? What, what is special about that place? What's special? It's a holy place, isn't it? What do you mean holy? Holy, a place is holy only if God is there. Does God live there? Then obviously it's not holy. God lives in the church. Individually. Yeah, of course God lives in the church. What? God lives in him, God lives in me. We are the church. God's church is holy. We are called saints. Yeah, saints. If you want to go to a holy place, come to us. Come to Christians. We'll more may we'll give you an idea for you to become holy also. How are you planning to become holy, by the way? How? I think uh, because you have to do the right things. Like how? What do you mean? You know, you and I know what the right things are. We have to be no, more charitable. I, I don't know what you have in mind. I'm asking you. You have to be more charitable. You know, yeah, you have to be nice to your neighbor. You have to be how do you become holy? God. Holy. That's what I think holy is. Is that how God became holy? How does God become holy? Yeah. How, how, God is holy. How did He become holy? Did He give charity to others? No. So how did He become holy? Because, what do you mean? How can no, God, you are how, telling I me. I can't explain how God became holy, can I? Obviously, there is only one holy person, and that is God, according to you. Yeah, of course. And He did not do charity to become holy. But then you are telling me you need to do charity to become no, holy. That's how I how see does that work? No, because God created you, isn't it? You God created me, I agree. How, why don't you explain to me how does God become holy? God, God was always holy. He, he tells me how to be like Him. Yeah, the way I could be holy is by receiving Him. By receiving Him, but God dwells in us. Wherever God is, it's holy. God dwells in us. That's Christian doctrine. Jesus said, 
my spirit will dwell, dwell in you and I shall be with you through my spirit. I shall send you a counselor. Multiple places, where, sir. Where did Jesus, Jesus say that in the Bible? Multiple places, show sir. Show me. What do you mean, show me? Show me. Do you have a problem of reading? Uh, you don't want to show no, me. Just show it to me. All right, let's read. Oh, it is there. So, let's read. Let's read just one and then we'll move on. With the, I don't like your show me this, show me that game. Come on, let's be here, bro. Go. I saw you earlier when you were trying to hide. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? Yes, sir. Can I please quickly hey, answer him? Not kidding. Yeah, just yeah, quickly, yeah, please. Go, 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 go. Oh, yeah. I'm tag teaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's too easy, I think. God dwells into. That's what Jesus said. God yeah. dwells inside you. Show me where it says it in the Bible, please. You don't like being challenged here you? because you're not on steady ground, are you? Oh, hey. Yeah. Oh, well done. <laughs> ask a question, answer, comment. Would you like to move on now? No, I'd like your evidence. Ah, good, thank you. <coughs> so, in your own time, take your time. Yeah, let's read. I still have many things to say to you, but you you cannot bear them now. However, when he the is that you speaking or Jesus? What? Who's speaking then? Is that you speaking or Jesus? Jesus. Carry on. I'm reading Jesus' words. Are you here just to crack some silly jokes, sir? Yes. Oh, I'm then going to move oh, on, sir. You still haven't shown me the truth. However, when he, the truth, spirit of truth has come, he will guide you into all truth. For he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak. And he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me. No, no, where is it where it says Jesus? The spirit goes in you because that's what you were asserting and I just wondered where your evidence within So that's the, the spirit of the truth which Jesus yeah. himself sends. He say it, yeah. How does he say so, does Jesus say I'm God worship me? Find that oh, no question. Are you jumping now? Oh, yeah, why not? Are you a Muslim, no, 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 no. sir? Yes. He's saying one question at a time. I'm not going to tell you. Now show me where it says Jesus said I am God worship me. He can't convert find to Christianity. No, 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 so in the Bible. Not in the Bible. He never, he never, he never said I'm God. Jesus never said I'm God. There's a whole thing about Jesus. I don't care about Muhammad. Why do you ask me all the time? Jesus never said that. Did he ever say I'm a prophet? Muhammad never said that. No, there aren't. He says in the Quran. You know where you can prove You know where you can prove Jesus said I'm God. Where does he go? Being because you're claiming to be God. God. Do you know what God is doing you? Do you know what God is doing you? But he's saying to you, the last, for, for example, the last hour, only God knows the last hour, isn't it? The Father you know, knows. You know, but the, you know. No, no, no. no, no. no, no. Exactly, because on the contrary. But he never said, I am a prophet. To follow your line of logic. He's saying, since Jesus didn't say he was God, but he didn't say I am God. No, no, no. He didn't say I am God. You're spouting all this nonsense. In a way, like he said, I was before Abraham. He said that. He didn't say before Abraham. If anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him. I will come into him and dine with him. Behold, excuse me, sir. If you're here just to crack silly jokes, you can move on, sir. I really think you can't make sensible statements. I remember you from the conversation I had with the atheistic guys. Can I read it? Let me read it. If you have the ability to, by all means. If you are close, let me see. Let me read it. Let me read it. All right, okay. So now to all of you, you had a question. So what was your question, sir? Uh, come up here and I will show you things which must take place after this. So did you read the passage I showed you? Uh, if anyone hears my voice and opens the door, I will come into him and dine with him. Uh, yeah. yeah. What are you? Come into him. Go on. And dine with him. Yeah, yeah, please. So got that? You can interpret come in to him. Jesus come in. Excuse me, sir. If you're here Jesus to make some silly points, you can move on, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, go on. That's it. There we go. Sir, that's how we provide so everything. I didn't mean to stall you. One second. Excuse me, sir. Are you an atheist? Sir, are you an atheist, sir? An atheist? Are you an atheist, sir? Yeah. To believe in... Damn, you caught me. Sorry. Oh, well, you better be. You better be <laughs> sorry, sir. Yes, God. And so Jesus revealed to his disciples and he said to them, the Look, spirit of truth... Excuse me, sir. He is my friend. I'm not sorry. We call that a friend. Let him get up on the Yeah, yeah, he can get up on the ladder. No problem. He can get up on the ladder. He is the main king. Sorry. So basically, no, no, in answer no, to your no, question, no, no, no further comments. Let him read. So Jesus reveals and he says to his disciples, the spirit of truth will play in their lives 
he lives with you and will be in you. Oh, oh, you yeah. Yeah. Don't fly off. Twenty, 20, 20 minutes later, oh, and your sidekick yeah, yeah. knows more than you. It's more. It's Thank you. This is this is the level of desperation. So now, now that, now that, now that we have told you precisely how Jesus lives in you, what are you planning to do? I'm planning to ask you. Pretty much nothing. Pretty much nothing. That's your plan. In other words, you are here just for entertainment. This is typical atheism. Entertainment, mock, scoff. Typical, typical. That's very typical. Yes, sir. From the Bible. Numbers chapter 23. It says very clearly there. Deuteronomy. What's that? Numbers chapter 23, verse 19. It says very clearly God is not a man. What's your answer to that? It doesn't say God's not a man. You're lying. Are you English, sir? No, Joe. Are you English, sir? Do you have a Bible? I He's do English. have. Do you ha He's have you got English. ears? He's English. I'm already speaking now. Yes, I'm listening. Yeah. You that you are lying, name. sir. It doesn't say God is not a man. Ooh, it says God is not a man that he must lie. No, 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 no. Crack it up. No, no, no. Open it up. Okay, let's read. Open the passage. What does it say? Please, can you please repeat? I'm going to tell you exactly what it says. It yeah, says yeah, in Hebrew, Lo ishkel vayichazeb. What is that? Have you ever read? Where did you read? Excuse me, sir. Get on. What does it say? Please get on. One second. Please get on with it. Okay, it says it in the original Hebrew. It says, God is not a man. And what's underneath the original Hebrew? A pause. Which is a pause. It says, God is not a man. And then he goes on to tell you how he's not a man. He should not lie. He should not swindle. He should not cheat. So don't turn around to me and say to me, I don't know what I'm telling you. I'm telling you what's written in your book, in the original. Not in this. In the original. Mazuyaf that you have. Oh, let me, let me, let me ask you this. You, you know Hebrew, obviously. Are you a Jew, sir? I'm not Jewish, no. Okay, so let me, let me ask you this, yeah? You go and tell this to the Hebrews, the Jews, yes. and ask them for an explanation. If, I have asked if. Them. I have asked them. Now, I'm asking what's you. What's your explanation for that? Yeah, when I I'm making a point, no, no, no. Yeah. You, you, you go and time. tell them. Go and tell them. Excuse me, sir. Go, go, go and tell them why it. Go, go and tell them. Made a point at you. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. You, you said you are a comedian, sir. I did. Excuse me, sir. You said you are a comedian. No, I didn't say that. You confessed that earlier. I'm not a comedian. Do you see anyone fucking laughing? No. Well, that's obvious. Don't give up your day job. Don't do it. Hey, I'm not a comedian. Please, please go and, please go and. Please go, please go. At least give him the comment. Uh, he's good. Sir. And he doesn't like it. Well, I, so, I please. Do please. As I respect, you do what I want to do. So, you do what please. You want to do. I'm doing this. So, please. Do do. Yeah. Please. 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 Please go and ask them uh, if the numbers passage actually means God is not a man, period. Then there is a problem. In Genesis chapter 18, then the Lord Yahweh appeared to Abraham. To him by the terebinth trees of Mamre, as he was sitting in the tent door in the heat of the day. So he lifted his eyes and looked, and behold, three men were standing by him. So if the numbers passage is like what you said it was, i.e., God is not a man, the problem is even before the numbers passage in Bereshit in Genesis chapter 18, God shows up as a man. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. God shows up, Abraham calls him Lord, Yahweh, Abraham calls him Yahweh, and who was he talking to when he refers to, he uh, uh, calls him as Yahweh, a man, three men. It's the exact same point as when God turned around to said to, uh, to, uh, to Adam, he said to him, Ayeka, he said to him, Vayoma Ayeka, where are you? And he okay. appeared to him, it's not appeared to him. It's the fact that God spoke to the person, just like he spoke to the prophet Balaam. Did he end up going to him? No, he didn't. No, just you, like you, it says at the beginning of Genesis that God was walking in the garden. That's what your Bible translates when you were talking. It's bullshit. He didn't walk. If you actually read the original No, Hebrew, no, stick to this passage, please. So I'm sticking stick to, to this passage. passage. So you, in, your, in this passage, you think no. he was just speaking again, from there. Again, if we open the passage in Hebrew, which I'm more than happy to do, yep. I will show you how your Bible is mistranslated. No, no, please make your point. So Don't I, talk about I, translation. That is his point. The Bible's the mistranslated. The translation that you have is a very and you're bad enjoying the question. The question is simple. Please, please answer. Excuse me, sir. You are a sidekick right now, Jesus sir. You are really a sidekick right now, sir. Do you know Hebrew, sir? Do you, you know Hebrew, sir? Talk to me because I've got a question. I'm terribly scared of silly jokes, sir. I'm really. 
I'm really terribly scared of silly jokes. Let me, let me, let me please move on. Let me, let me. Let's. You've gone with him because you're scared of my. I'm terribly scared, sir. If you can please help me, sir. Please don't scare me again, please. I'm very terribly scared. I'm, I'm hoping you really help me. I'm coming to you. The question. You're willing, sir. Yeah, yeah. The question I'm. I, I, I can give you the Hebrew Bible if you want. Right away. The question I'm asking. One second. I know the question you're asking. I'm going to answer you. Now let me let me rephrase my question. The question I'm specifically asking right now, not earlier, right now, is. Where does it say? Where does Jesus say? Did did Abraham look at the men who showed up in front of him and refer to him or them? As Yahweh or no, not? No. That's the question. That's the answer. No. So your answer is no. Correct. Then who precisely did he refer to as Yahweh? So let's open it up together. Yeah. Uh, you said you have a Hebrew Bible. Let's open I it have, together yeah. right now. Oh, this is boring. You're letting him off. It's getting interesting. It's boring. He won't answer my question. Where does Jesus say on God worship? <laughs> He doesn't because it's not written in the Bible. That's a Hebrew. Yeah, but he's got to admit to that. Fact check the Hebrew. What chapter was it? Chapter 18? Uh, uh, verse 18, yeah. How come you read all, how come you know all this stuff? I don't know that. He might, he might be a Jew. He might be a Jew. He did, just didn't want to tell you. Which verse? No, he said he wasn't a Jew. First verse. He, he did. He did. He did. He did say so he wasn't. He likes me. I know, but that's fine. Okay, so that's yeah. really yeah. Well. Yeah. Yeah. What does that mean? Yeah. Yeah. You read a Jewish God, translation. God appeared to him. Yeah. It's not appeared to him as in he's standing there. Appeared is the understanding throughout the connotations of the Bible. Just like God appeared to the children of Israel at Sinai. Did he appear as a man? No, he didn't. He appeared in presence. The, what you call the Holy Spirit is the exact same thing in the ideas of Judaism. So well, now, agreed on that point. So he didn't appear as a man. No, 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 no. You, you, you're, you're making a circular argument right now. No, I'm, I'm not yeah, you're, 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 you're circular, your circular, your circular argument I'm is. A statement. And my question is, do you agree with the statement or do you not? What's your statement? <laughs> so what circular statement are you claiming? The circular you point. If you're not saying there's a point. You because you made question? you made two I'm points there. Yeah. Excuse me, sir. Stick Please, me, we are easy. talking about something sensible I'm, here, sir. I'm, 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 no, you're not. You're spouting bullshit from the you know about Jesus. I know and, that's how it would sound to you. Yeah. Please, I really like bullshit. And when I challenge you. You can't come up with anything. I your find your challenge Jesus seriously Jesus scary, sir. Jesus. I asked you for your help not to scare me again. Jesus say, I'm God worship. I really told you, you, you scared me really a lot already. Please don't scare me again. I told you already. Simple. So we are talking about something else now. We'll come back to that moment. We'll come back to that. I'm terribly scared. Terribly scared. What's that? Hey, you want to stand up there and tell us so, you're going to hell and you don't believe what you preach? That's what you're saying. And it's not true. None of that stuff that you preach is even in your Bible. So you're making it up by you. So yeah, so my point, my question, so yeah, the, the, the circular reasoning I was referring to was your point about disappearing could not be a regular appearing because appearing elsewhere oh, no. and everything put together is not saying, regular, okay. is your point. I was saying Vayera, the word Vayera in Hebrew, the original Hebrew, would never be used as a, as a person, as in, if it was talking about a person, a person, you know, showing up, you would say Vahalach Va, he came, he arrived. Why, he in, why not appear? Again. What's the problem with appear? Again, because I'm trying to explain to you, Vayera, Generally, throughout the Bible, out of the five books of Moses, going right into the, I don't know how many books you claim to have. Your the argument to him is that the no, people who translated let's that, that let's deal with that one are question far more time, educated than him, and it's done by committee, not one person, lots of people. That's why it ended up like that because the committee, as a consensus, Fine. decided that what no was problem. in there represented. No problem. No problem. No problem. They knew more than him. So now go back to me. Come on. Yeah, we'll come back to you. Good. Now. In a bit. Right. In now. a bit. Yeah, coming that back. That would be your argument to him. Okay. Right. Well, let's. That's let's, the argument you would use. He's just one man wandered up on the streets. Yeah. This yeah. is a committee of people. Is that the King James Bible? This is New King James. No. Okay. Well, it's the same thing. It's a lot of people who are yeah, all yeah, scholars. Yeah, yeah. All of them as powerful yeah, yeah, as him yeah. in their scholarship and their knowledge. Yes. They get together. They have an argument and they. They come to a consensus Good. and the consensus goes from here into here yes so this is already so, been so done. his point his, his point is appear doesn't mean a better scholarship my point being the, the word vayera whenever it is used throughout the bible there is not one instance of it being 
used when a person, an actual physical person, was there. And generally then, the word Vayera... Yeah, so you see the circular argument only. there. You see so this, hold on one second. Do you see the circular argument there? It's not a circular argument. It is. Now wait a second. If your argument is every single time that term is used, it is not showing up in person. It's not showing up and person. that is your conclusion. It's not my your conclusion in that particular again, verse is he didn't show up in again, person. Again, it's me, it's me understanding from the Hebrew Bible that the Hebrew Bible within the codified text of the Hebrew, the original Hebrew, it is used very simply as what is the word Torah? Which it, which no, 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 stick to the simple word. My dear friends, my dear friends, you're, 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 now, you're now hiding away what is clearly a circular argument. You're hiding away, running away from it. The question I asked you was simple. In this particular oh, no. passage, well, he's going to answer your simple in question. This, Why won't you answer my simple question? Oh, uh -huh. I'm going to. So, my question, my question to you was simple. In this particular verse, when it says the Lord appeared, did He show up in person or not? You are saying no. In other words, your conclusion of the meaning of this term appear is that it is not showing up in person no, that, that's a conclusion again, but to me. prove that one second well, let me finish let me finish to prove say your conclusion is this he can't be that's how they work let me finish let me finish they your conclusion going, your conclusion is this you cannot be arguments. showing up in person because let me finish let me finish let's see how it plays out i spoke that's let's see how it plays out i'm asked it's the let me finish argument it's the one that never comes to a conclusion and creates several red herrings i'm using the jewish scripture I'm using the Jewish again, scripture. Again, Up here, again. Jews have taken the trouble to translate this precisely. The Lord appeared no, no, to him. Jews never translated this. This, this is the Jewish again, Publication again, Society. Again, let me explain. This is the Jewish Publication again, Society. 30% of these type of translations, even the Jewish Publication Society, are not done by Jews. Did you know that? No, no, wait a second. Are you, are you a Jew, sir? I'm not. So, uh, so what is your credibility, sir? What is my credibility? That I studied the Bible. Uh, and uh, the people who translated this, have they studied the Bible or not? Some of them, yes, some of them, no. No, no, are you saying Again, they have them. taken the trouble I'm to making, translate? What, so your credibility is that you know the Bible. And yeah, what have I, you done I, to I, prove I, that, sir? I've learned the Bible. Uh, what have you done to prove that? Take that forward. Anything else? Yeah, but these people have taken that forward enough they, to translate. I've done a very bad translation. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. say someone who, who hasn't done anything. I don't have to do anything. No, I you're using the argument I was talking about. That this was translated by a Excuse me, sir. This is Jewish no Publication Society. Now, on what basis question? On what basis are you discrediting their translation? On what basis? Do you want me to give you an explanation here? No, no, no. I don't want you to. They've given an explanation. They've given a translation. So I can open it up and show you that there are simple errors within there, within the translation. Am I allowed to do Do you honestly think that your scholarship is better than the people that translate What, what is your basis, you sir? I'm not claiming to have Sir, you're saying that you know better than those people. I'm not saying you know better than those What happened? You're what? saying that this is mistranslated. This is what I'm saying. I said within there, who, there are certain the Bible? errors of the translator. That you spotted that the translators didn't. That the translators have not. So you're saying in that sense you're better than that? I'm not saying anything. You are. That is what you're saying. I'm not saying that. Because well, unfortunately, they've they they made mistakes that you've spotted that they have, and your scholarship is superior to that, and superior to this Bible. So stop doing it, and answer my question, where does Jesus say I'm God worship you? Yeah, you not answer. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, it's just fun to watch him wriggle, like Elliot Leal. She has a question. So, question, uh, question, can, question. Can question. The so the Lord... He's waiting for 10 minutes. I've been waiting for 10 minutes. Yeah, the Lord, the Lord... So question, my dear friend, the question. Let the lady ask a question. This is yeah. gone stale now. Can I please wrap one, just one minute, please? Let me, let me wrap this up. The Lord appeared. You were saying that's not the appearing. The three men who showed up, who are they? Who are they? Please. Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? The angels. But then one of them says, uh, the Lord. The one of them says, the Lord said, shall I hide from Abraham what I am doing? Since Abraham shall surely become... Because who is he speaking to? He's speaking to angels. What's that? Because who is he speaking to? He's speaking to the angels. Go on. Who is speaking to the angels? God is speaking to the angels. This is God speaking... Yes, God... The, and the Lord said, because the outcry against Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, I will go down now. Who is going to go down? God's spirit. Can this lady ask a no, question? No, 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 no. I don't this, care what this, you have in your mind, sir. Tell me what the statement says. 
The person who is speaking is saying, I will go down now. Just who is like, going to go down? Just like he said the exact same thing in Exodus. When he said, question is simple. Again, let me answer you. Stick You're to this verse. So I'm not, again, you cannot which just verse, simply conduct the idea on one verse. No, no, no. Oh, excuse Bible. me, excuse me. You are going to concoct the definition of this. You're asking me a question. No, uh, the question me, is simple. Give me the liberty to answer the question how I like the it. Question. You may not agree with me. The I'll question the is simple. I'm answering you the question. Okay. Okay. The question is simple and then I'll I move on. Once you answer that, I'm going to answer I'll comment and then I'll move I'm going on. To answer the, question. the point, once... You asked me, who is it within this verse that's going down? That was your question. No, no. Who is it who is the first person I, I will go down? God. Yes. So God is saying he is going to go down. Correct. So who gave you the liberty to say it's not God? He is saying he is going to go down. He did. It's his spirit. Yeah. He is going down. Correct. Yeah, good. 100%. So what's your, what's your point? So the Lord appeared before Abraham Correct. as three men and he... What are you talking about? Are you? Let me. Let's read it together. Then, let, let, let's this, read. No, I really want to move on now. You're, you're, you're making things up as you go on. Then the Lord appeared to him. Simple. Let's stick with simple statements here. Let's deal with the Bible. Lord appeared to him by the terebinth trees. Appeared. Correct. Your idea of this appear is some special appearance. Appearance. As he was sitting in the tent door in the heat of the day, so he lifted his eyes and looked. And behold, three men. Yeah. When the Lord appeared, how did that show up to Abraham? Sorry? The Lord appeared to Abraham. Correct. And how did that sort of... Uh, what is the implication for Abraham? Well, simple. Stick to the simple English statements here. Okay, that's your statement. But anyway, that's not that. This is the Bible statement. No, this, this is your translation. Specific. Well, le let's read your translation. <laughs> I really don't want to... No, no. Excuse me. Well, I don't care if you don't agree with standard translation, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. Sorry. What I'm here to ask is that you're preaching to us. What's that? I said you are preaching to us because of what you believe. You believe that because I don't know if you are a Christian or you are just a, a teacher. But what I, the question I want to put to you because those people in the Bible, those prophets, and even those people that are not prophets, that actually have the grace to actually um, receive one blessing or the other from God or from the angels. They see things. I want to put this to you as a teacher, as a preacher. Have you seen God before? You have you seen anything? Have you seen anything to tell us? Just to prove yourself. Yes, Ross I know here. God personally in my life. I want you to prove yourself to us in what this journey. Mean? What I mean is that, like those people, Moses, God speak to him a lot. No, no, no. no, no. So, so, excuse, me, excuse me, excuse me, no, 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 wait. Which experience have you had with God? All sorts of different experiences. All sorts of different experiences. Are you a Christian? Yes. I, I think your ideas are weird. You really need to get to the word of God properly. If you don't know the Bible, you need to study the Bible. Moses, excuse me, ma'am. Excuse me, ma'am. No, no, no. Excuse me, ma'am. Moses, people did not go to Moses every now and then willingly to say, Oh, I'd like to know you're from God. Show us some sign. That doesn't work that way. Are you with me? Are you with me, ma'am? People can't just show up before Jesus. I'd like to see a sign now. Can you please show one now? And the next minute, one more person. I'd like to see one more now. Can I see now? That's not how that's not how things work. If you don't know the Bible, better read the Bible, get to know. Or really, how many yes. miracles did Moses do? Moses did a lot of miracles. How many? He did a lot. How many? I'm going to give you how one many? example. How many? No, let me how many? I'm going to give you one example. How many? Can I speak? You understand? No, now, you, we're, you we're told me already learning. something which is no, no, completely no, no. weird no, no, when it comes no, no. to the Bible. We're only learning from each other. You What's that? We are only learning. No, no, no. You are telling me stuff which is not no, no, in the Bible. No, no. I really don't know where you picked up your ideas from. And I want to tell you, when God tells Moses to go and bring his people from the land of the slavery, when they were in the wilderness, they were telling Moses, asking Moses if truly God is the one that sent him. He wants to see because they were thirsty, they were hungry, and a lot of things happened. Manna came from heaven. From the rock, what happened out from the rock? So this is at the signs. Now, that was what the other people believed that. Actually, it was God that sent Moses. Manna was sent so for people to eat, this not for a sign. You, you, uh, God, God, what did Jesus say about people who are looking for signs? What did he say? What did Jesus say to people who are looking for signs? You never answered the question. 
evil and adulterous generation looking for signs. Did he not say that? So don't look out for signs. When we bring people together, we're trying to actually introduce this them to what they don't know. We need to let them know that truly this is happening. Do you understand? It's not about the people before. We were talking about something happening now. People want to see miracles. Something happening now. And that's it. Good. Show us something happening now. We'll get on with it. Good. Thank you very much. Good to see you. Seriously. Thank you very much. So ultimately the point is based on evidences, the prophets of the Bible and ultimately God eternal Jesus himself is credible. Muhammad of the Quran is not credible. There is no point in following him. He, he has introduced a God which is of his own mind not someone who exists in reality as eternal God. So, all Muslims need to come to Jesus Christ, who is God eternal, who lived, died, came back alive. Thank you.